I guess out of all those years of marriage, there was no big O for Miss Melody Holtz. Oh, Lord have mercy. And it got ugly in the Ooh. hot tub. But let's talk about it, you guys. It's Mary. And Alma. Thank you much, guys, for like. Subscribe. And comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon, you all. Um, because this was all very, very interesting. Mm. Um, Melody said the biggest regret she's ever had was marrying somebody who could not make her, um, oh. And for those who don't know, just use your imagination. Um, but, you know, she stated this in the hot tub or whatever and stuff. Didn't make her have any fulfillment. Yes. During intimacy. Yeah. Um, um do I we believe marriage, it? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. I he do strikes me as a selfish lover. Because he's very selfish in his own life. Yeah. And he only cares about what he wants in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a guy who was so vile in the way he spoke to her. Yeah. And um, he did not care that he was cheating. No. He never said he was going to stop cheating. Right. In fact, he called his mistress a peasant. On national uh, TV. Yeah. And uh, even the doctor had to, to ask again. And that, that should have been his, um, kind of like with Jonathan Owens, when someone said, mm, really, you didn't know that she existed, Simone Biles existed. That's your cue to realize, maybe I should not be saying this. But no, Martel did not take the cue. He called her peasant again to yeah. the therapist. <laughs> and then you had a little sick smile when he said it too. <sighs> and Arian, that's who you're smiling and cheesing up with. You know, you know, but I remember when he told Mel, you know, like, um, because, like, yelling at the top of his lungs after telling her to shut the F up, um, that, you know, she doesn't do it frequently. This is a woman who goes and works. So that means she helps you do your job of paying the bills. And then she has to come home and cook. Yeah. Um, Take care of the kids, clean, whatever. Like this woman was doing that. And then in her tired state, you wanted to come and give you OS and do it frequently. And do it well. And do it well. What um, she's having to do be like, a woman and be the man. Yeah. How? Yeah. That don't make no sense. And, if um, you want sex from your woman, take some of the burdens because, off of and, her. And, and then, and then. Oh my God. And then, oh, even when she will do it, you now critique it. And say, so, you know, sometimes I still have to go cheat anyway. Because even though you did it for me, uh, it it's not good. as good as this one here. So what do you want her to do? You want to make a videotape of you and your mistress and let her watch so she can do it the way the other one does it? Like some Derek Jackson like Because, stuff. like, what are you even talking about? You know? So, like, I, I can see why. And this is what this man did on camera. He did it on camera. Can you imagine how this loose cannon has been yeah. to this woman before they had this show? I can. Can you even imagine? He had to have been a monster. A menace to, to her. Society. Yes, of course. Of course. Yes, so, so I can see why. Because if he was this horrible to her from the very beginning, I can see how she was not, nothing was happening. And he, she was, he was cheating on her from the very beginning. Yeah, Even for before sure. they got married. For you to cheat this blatantly, you've been doing this from the very beginning. I know. From the, I mean, when you look at Mel now, Mel physically looks healthy. Yeah. Mel looks, used to look, even though she tried to keep herself up, it just she, it was a type of sadness, like a, a grayish pallor to her. Yes, she did not look healthy she looks while she broken. was with that man at She looked all. broken, that's what she looked like. Yes, a broken woman, but she tried to keep it together, tried to Try keep make it herself. Cute. Yes, you know, so I can see how. And he's, like you said, selfish lover, uncaring lover, okay? And, and probably don't even know how to love her, Okay? If your woman is not crazy about you physically to come and give herself to you, that's because she's not enjoying it. I promise you that. Yeah. Because if a woman is really enjoying it, she's you not going to beg her to she's come. She's not going to have to. You know, she she's going to be pulling hints to you and and stuff like that. 
you, you're not going to have to um, reach out and, and all of that stuff. Yeah. You, you certainly ain't going to have to yell at her. To, like, so I think with Martel, I, I think that he has been out here cheating so much. Um, he probably started this whole stuff way young. Sex was yeah. introduced to him way young. And he has a weird idea about what sex should be. You know? And, and so because of that, he brings all that craziness into a marriage. Yeah. Sex is the highest form of expression between two people in a marriage. Yeah. Okay? So I can believe that Mel has not had an L. A lot of a lot of women out here who are here like doing the twerking doing all this stuff uh, having all these threesomes and weird stuff all yeah. this stuff let me tell you hmm, when you go and it is like oh my goodness he got BD energy and all this rubbish <laughs> BD trust energy. and believe they will be right there even with his BD energy um He's still not Satisfying. doing much for you. Yeah. There are a lot of women like that. Like Maurice was shocked that Kim was telling him. Remember when she was telling him that she hasn't been satisfied? Listen, I believe that Kim hasn't been satisfied before she even had cancer. She has not been satisfied. Before they even got married, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Because someone like Maurice, who is demanding... Like... There's no way. You There's should no be way. able to, anytime you get together with your spouse, or you should be able to have your own. You should. And yeah. if you're not having it, then that man got to learn about your body. Yeah, y'all. He just has to. And he has to take the time. And he has to make it his mission. He has to make it his mission. That's someone who actually gives a damn, who actually cares about you. Yep. But when they're not willing to do that, that's someone who's selfish. That's like women run. You're with a man who ain't even trying. You've, you've told him. And a lot of times women will not tell. Right. And I don't know why they don't do that. A lot of times, sometimes it's because the lovers that they had in the past before they got married, um, we're not giving them the O either. Right. So they just think it's just par for the course. Yeah. But when you get married, it'll be nice for you to be honest with your partner. And, I mean, there are ways that you can figure it out. And, no, you don't have to go look up a book with someone who is gay to show you how to please your man. Yeah. Like in that movie. Was it? Complica it's complicated. It's complicated. She has to go get a book. Uh, how to how give to, OS to her man. By It was a book by a gay man. Yeah. Like, like, that don't make no, no sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. Because you're a woman, you don't have the, you know, whatever. It's already innate in us how to please, do that. Please, like, and then it's, it's well, I don't know if it's innate, but it's, when you come together, you will know how to please each other. Yeah. As time goes on, where there's care, there. there, yes. Yeah. You guys will learn, you guys will make it your mission to learn. Yeah. So that's all I have to say. So yeah, I do believe Mel, I believe, I don't think she's being whatever, it's just that, now facts. she can just say it. Like, you know something? He wasn't even... Mm. Yeah. But it's uh, Mary. And Amma. We got you guys a like. Subscribe. And comment down below. Bye. Bye.